In this episode, I'm going to show you seven iPad hacks. Let's rise. Rising to be. Rising to be productive. Rising to be organized. Rising to be inspired. Who are you rising to be? New podcast every Tuesday, new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Hello everyone, I'm Christina B. Rising and welcome to The Rising to Be Show, the only place on the internet where I help you rise to be who you want to be, helping you rise to be productive, organized, and inspired. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday on my channel and on my podcast, Rising to Be, every Tuesday, available wherever you can listen for free. Watch next week's episode early by joining the Patreon for exclusive content. There's three tiers to choose from at patreon.com forward slash rising to be. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can become a riser and click the bell so that you can be notified every time there is a brand new episode. So let's get into this episode. Are you tired of 2020 and want to start creating a better life in 2021? Then check out my goal setting workbook to help you create the life you want in 2021. Write the vision and make it plain. Happy with chapter two, verse two. Available now in my Etsy shop, Rising to Be. Save 20% off your order using code GOALS21. Keep rising to be who you want to be. In honor of International Scribble Day on March 27, today's episode is going to be about part two of our computer and iPad hack series. I'll be sure to link part one on computer hacks above and in the podcast notes so that you can check it out. Now, without further ado, the first tip I have for you is tip one, turn a website into an app. I'm sure there are websites that you visit frequently. Save time by having them as an app on your iPad homepage. Simply hit the share button, which looks like a square with an arrow on top of it. To show you several options, click on add the page to your home screen and there you have it. Sync your podcast across devices. Do you have a favorite podcast that you love to listen to? Well, I hope it's the Rise and Be show and shows alike. By syncing your podcast across all your devices, you'll be able to pick up right from where you left off. And it's not just podcasts that you can sync. It's also stations, podcast subscriptions, and playback positions across all of your iOS devices like your iMac computer, iPhone, and Apple TV and so much more. Here are the two ways to sync your podcast. One, open your Mac. In the podcast app, choose podcast, then go to preferences, click advance, then make sure you click on sync subscriptions across devices. It's selected. Two, on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod touch, go to settings, podcast, then turn on sync podcast. And of course, make sure you leave a podcast review of the Rising and B show. I'd love to know what you think of it. New episodes every Tuesday, available wherever you can press play. Tip three, delete distractions. Do you need to write a term paper or a report that's due soon? If so, try out the Hanks Writer app, which is a writing app that you can use free of distractions to boost your productivity, developed by Tom Hanks. Tip four, dark mode writing. If you typically get headaches easily while typing a paper, I strongly recommend using dark mode. You can easily access this by clicking on your choice of document via Google Docs, which is a free writing platform and then press on the three dots in the toolbar on the right side of your screen next you're going to switch off view in light theme and there you go you can type with ease headache free which pairs perfectly with blue light blocking glasses if you're someone who typically works on your computer for long periods of time tip 5 offline writing using Google Docs you can download documents you're working on on the go which is incredibly convenient if you're working in a place with less than perfect Wi-Fi speeds simply go into your document of choice, press on the three dots in the toolbar on the right side of your screen again, and switch on available offline at the bottom of your menu screen. And there you go. You should get a notification on your screen saying file will be made available offline. And you will also see in the document homepage at the bottom corner of certain files, a circle icon with a check mark and a line underneath it. This indicates which documents are available for offline use. Tip six, split your screen. This is probably the main reason I purchased my iPad Pro for this amazing feature. Now you may be thinking, Christina, you can do this on your iMac and a MacBook Pro. And yes, you can, but it's less of a hassle the way you can do it on an iPad. Open your first app of choice and then open your app dock at the bottom of your screen and easily drag your second app of choice to the left or right side of your screen. It's heavenly. Why do I love this so much? You can watch YouTube videos like this or listen to podcasts like this on one side of your screen and email someone back or write my next YouTube video script on the other side, all simultaneously on an 11 inch screen. It's heaven. 
Why? Because I can easily throw this iPad in my purse and work from wherever with ease. Bonus tip, buy a case for your iPad. I know you may see a lot of these major YouTubers holding their iPads without a case. And that's cute and sure it looks cool to do. But let me tell you what isn't cool, a broken screen or going back to the Apple store to explain what happened. So please buy a case and if you can find one with a keyboard, that's even better for your iPad experience, but also your productivity. Share this awesome episode with someone you know who needs it to help them rise to be who they want to be. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd hate for you to miss the next episode. Watch next week's episode early by joining the Patreon for exclusive content. There's three tiers to choose from at patreon.com forward slash rise and be. If you have an episode idea on what you would like to see next, let me know down below in the comments below or your podcast review. Now let's get into our next tip. Tip 7. Free books. iPads are a godsend and you should get the most out of your iPad with free ebooks. Did you know that you can read anything in the EPUB format on your iPad? Well, you can using Project Gutenberg, which offers more than 46,000 free ebooks for you to choose from and even some classic books you love. Use the book app on your iPad to also get free books. Click on the bookstore at the bottom of your screen. Next, you're going to click on Browse Sections, and guess what? There is a section for free books, so click that, which will let you get books that are first in a series, newly added to the store, and even some free audiobooks if you're not a fan of ebooks. Lastly, believe it or not, but your local library also has free books for you to virtually check out. Yes, that same library that you pay taxes to, which means that if they don't have the exact book that you are looking for, then simply ask for them to purchase it, and they likely will. I have done this several times and I haven't been told no yet. So download all of these apps to your phone right now and stop paying for Audible. One, Hoopla, Overdrive, Libby, and lastly, believe it or not, your local library may have their own personal app. And all you have to do is log into the apps with your library card so that you can get to reading. If you can't tell by now, I absolutely adore reading, which may seem a bit controversial, sure. Reading may have been a bit boring for you in school, sure. But here's the thing, oftentimes reading gets boring when you don't get to choose the book you're reading. So if you've never really loved reading, then start now. There are so many different formats for information now, like eBooks, hardcovers, softcovers, and audiobooks, a personal favorite of mine. The choice is yours, so start reading more today. Thank you so much for stopping by and pressing play. I just want to share the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day comes from YouTube commenter underscore natural soul. I love everything about your channel. Happy face emoji with three hearts. Hashtag rising to be. Two heart emojis blushing happy face emoji. Thanks so much for your comment underscore natural soul. Want to be featured as the next comment of the day? Simply leave a comment on a YouTube video or leave a review on wherever you listen to podcasts. Now back to the show. So let's do a quick recap of the tips we covered in today's episode, just in case you missed one. And I also have timestamps down below in the notes so you can easily skip to the tip that you missed. Tip one, turn a website into an app. Tip two, sync your podcast across devices. Tip three, delete distractions. Tip four, dark writing mode. Tip five, offline writing. Tip six, split your screen. And our bonus tip, Buy a case for your iPad, specifically one with a keyboard. It will change the way you use your iPad for the better. And tip seven, free books. Thank you so much for stopping by and pressing play. I truly appreciate it. I hope this episode was helpful to you. Let me know down below in the comments what tip you'll be using. Remember, as we rise to be, we're becoming who we want to be. I am Christine to be rising, and I will always be rising. Watch next week's episode early by joining my Patreon for exclusive and early content. There's three tiers to choose from at patreon.com forward slash rising to be. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so that more people like you can have access to content like this. And I'll see you in my next episode. Check out the upcoming playlist filled with content to help you keep rising to be who you want to be. Bye, risers. Do you want even more Rising to Be in your life? Then join the Rising to Be Patreon. It helps you support the channel and other forms of content. There's three tiers to choose from. Starting as low as $4. So here's a breakdown of tier one. You get access to the monthly wallpapers for your computer and phone to keep you motivated and inspired all month long. You get to choose one monthly video topic. And of course, you get a Patreon shout out in my next video. Tier 2 has access to monthly wallpapers, you get to choose one monthly video topic, early access to videos, and of course a Patreon shout out in my next video. 
Tier 3 has access to the monthly wallpapers. They get to choose two monthly video topics and one podcast topic. Early access to videos and podcasts, a Patreon shout-out in my next video, and of course, exclusive access to my printable collection from my Etsy store, Rising to Be. And it's only available through Patreon and Etsy, so this is something you really want to jump on. There are three tiers to choose from. I plan on adding even more as we go along. So I hope you'll consider joining the Patreon risers. Keep rising to be who you want to be. Follow me on Instagram at Rising to Be for motivational content. Join the Rising to Be Facebook group to get updates on Rising to Be. Follow me on Pinterest at Rising to Be for several boards of inspiration and motivation. Join the Patreon so that you can watch next week's video or listen to the next podcast at patreon.com forward slash Rising to Be.